Do you know what's really cool about motivation? <laughs> it actually gets you to do things. Um, so I got up this morning and I knew Kaylee had taken my car. She went took it to go to school today. And um, I looked at the weather and, and it was gonna be really rainy today. So I knew I wasn't gonna go for a walk. I was like, oh, I was kinda like, hang on. Since I knew it was gonna be rainy, I was like, oh darn, I, I don't get to go on my walk. <laughs> I was kinda like looking forward to that. And so then I, uh, and then Kaylee wanted to take my car, so I was like, okay, she can do that. I can like hang out at home or whatever. I've been writing that talk for church. I've been planning my lesson for Ashley's class that I teach on Sundays. I've been getting things done, right? And then, you know, Kaylee texted me and told me when she was coming home and I was like, it actually isn't gonna be rainy. Maybe I can actually like go for a walk and it'll be nice. And of course, it, okay, it, it isn't right now. See, that's so strange. So right when she was coming home from school, it started to rain and I was like, I got my clothes on and everything. I was like, I really wanted to go. I was getting motivated to go. And then it started to rain and it was gonna rain for the rest of the day. And I was like, you know what? I need to like force myself to figure out the routine when it's raining because 70% of our year is raining. So I need to figure something else out. So then, <laughs> you guys are gonna die. I have an elliptical and I, oh shoot, I almost, I never get on it. I never ever get on it. And I don't even know the last time I got on it. She's about to um, on her phone. Oh, my phone. I'm actually gonna go back and check the mail really quick. We're gonna go back where we're going very slow. And then I'll chat with you for your second here. So I got on my elliptical and I didn't go as long as I normally go for a walk. I only, only did like a mile and a half on the elliptical, maybe a mile and three fourths or something, you know, whatever. But I did it. And it obviously is more of a workout than going for a walk or a mild hike. And so I was like, you know what? That was good. I exerted energy and I felt more out of breath. So obviously I was doing more of a workout. And so I was like, you know what? That felt good. <laughs> I like passed out on my bed. Oh, that truck just took off a branch. Oh, he's taking off more. <laughs> He's flying down the street and every single tree he's hitting branches are flying off of anyway so it felt it feels good um, and of course now when I come out um, to my car it's not raining <laughs> hang on I'm gonna go check the mail really quick so at least I got out and or I got my workout in and it felt really good Maybe I'll get more motivated to go and do the elliptical when it's raining outside or when I don't have time to go for a walk. And then eventually the elliptical will help me build up the strength to be able to walk the hills here in my neighborhood. Because <laughs> it would be a lot easier for me to just walk out the door and not waste the time um, driving. So, um, but why haven't I showered and gotten cleaned up? <laughs> because right after Kaylee got home, about an hour after Kaylee got home uh, from school. And I even asked her, I was like, can you ask Abby if she wants to come home from work, from school early too? She's like, no, she doesn't. She's, she has to stay for the whole day. Um, we're days until the end of school. So it's like, if they're not doing much, they're just coming home. This is Evelyn's mom. I'm sure she was probably going to get Evelyn from school. <laughs> we're just like, um, and anyway, an hour after Kaylee got home and I was laying on my bed and Abby called and she was like, can you come pick me up from school? I don't have anything left in any of my classes today. And I'm like, oh, and I was like, can I shower first? And she's like, I mean, how long is it gonna take you to shower? And I was like, I'll just come now. I'm just too tired, you know? So I'll just go now. Um, but I did just get a second invite from a cute friend of ours. They're having another graduation party at the church tonight. The funny thing is that they, it's the same group of, mostly same group of friends that we did a graduation party for with all those graduation baskets. Like mm, a week and a half or two, it was, it was probably two weeks ago that we did that. Um, but 
they didn't know that they were gonna th throw that party for them. The, like our church did that for them, for all the seniors. But these moms of those kids have planned this party a year ago for their own kids. They reserved part of the church, <laughs> they planned the invitations, they planned this a year ago and booked everything. And so they're like, well, this is kind of awkward because we're going to do another party for the exact same set of kids <laughs> two weeks later. But they're like, will you, will you come? Because we've already planned this. And I was like, yeah, we'll come. Um, so it'll be fun to go to tonight. I'm not sure if Jason's going to come see how tired he is after work today. But that'll be fun to go to. Um, but anyway, these kids are just missing. There's just nothing to do at school. And uh I get all these notices for to excuse their absences <laughs> like the day I only picked up oh I, Abby missed all of school one day because she was not feeling well that was the day her back was really bad and I got a notice from the school that they had only marked her absent for two of the classes and I was like she missed all of them <laughs> so what teacher is marking her there um also can you even oh you can't see it oh maybe you could there's a cool, um, I'll show it to you when we come back home. The neighborhood does a cute little balloon arch graduation thing for all the kids in the neighborhood. Um, and it's really cute. Okay, I'm gonna put my phone down and get Abby from the school and then we can chat later. Okay, we stopped at the dollar store. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see these. I have grabbed a few balloons. Luckily they have a whole bunch of them, like already blown up because usually the weight to get balloons see they have a whole bunch of them father's day and graduation ones so i got kind of lucky today so kaylee said there's a balloon right above <laughs> the camera but um she said sour things these, these are for jake jacob by the way i'm gonna put them out front i have a, a little banner at home too she said sour thingies are his favorite we might grab one for the other girls hopefully we can have a movie night tonight Try and get that movie we've been trying to get. Um, did Kaylee respond yet? Did you ask her? She said sour, and I was like, that's Anything it. sour? Yeah. She said sour, and I said, that's it. All right. Well, I don't know what else. Um, there's some more sour. There's watermelon. I wanted to show you this little balloon art here. Isn't that so cute? Little graduate bird and uh, the 22 so the kids can come down here. I'm gonna try and convince Jacob to come and stop by and get his picture taken here, because I'm sure he's seen it, but um, I don't think he's taken a photo there. It's kind of cool, it's pretty big. And then also, while I was driving to the school to go get Abby, I noticed that they were wrapping one of the utility boxes over by Chelsea's middle school, and I remember that there's an art contest for the wrap for someone to be able to be featured as the artwork for that wrap work. And uh, they installed it today. And this is what it looks like. And it's really cute because you can tell it's just someone's little uh, watercolor painting, right? It looks yeah. really cool. Yeah. So anyway, we're gonna head home. We've got candy. I'm gonna make a little display for Jacob when he comes over later tonight. He had his actual graduation last night. And Kaylee and her friend went with his parents it was over at the T-Mobile Stadium, and uh, which is good because it was raining. It's pouring rain, but the Mariner Field has a slide shut roof. So we're gonna go home now. This is where we used to live. It's right over here. Before we had, Ash well, actually we had Ashley, and then we moved into our house, yeah. right? And they had no recollection of this, of living here, except for the pool. No. Chelsea kind of remembers the pool. Because well, she was only, have a no, of Chelsea. It. Chelsea actually doesn't, because she was a newborn. But Chelsea's like, I only remember the pool a little bit, because she was only like two and a half. Three? She was three when we moved? Anyway, we moved out. I can, can you show yourself in the mesh? I can show you our old, old little townhouse right up in here. We rented it, it was in, it's in an apartment complex area. So that's our cute little townhouse right there and it's right across the street from the pool so it was like the best, best place to live. I loved it as a mom because I had three babies at the time, three kids at the time that we lived here in this apartment complex 
and uh, I'll just go this back way out. Um, every summer, we just lived at the pool. We would get our chores done, I would get first morning naps done, and then throw in a load of laundry and dishes, and we would head to the pool. We'd spend so our whole, oh yeah, our whole day at the pool. And then I would wash them in the shower at the pool. I would bring my shampoo and my conditioner and my soap, and I'd wash them in the shower right there at the pool, and take them home, throw our towels into the wash, put their pajamas on, um, and either feed them dinner and put them to bed, or a lot of the time I would run home. Um, like if Jason came home, I would run home and grab something like we could eat or barbecue at the barbecue, and we would eat right there at the pool, and we'd come home, and they were young enough that they went to bed at 7 p.m. And so <laughs> they would be passed out by 7 p.m. on a good summer night, and it was good days, wasn't it, Abby? Mm -hmm. It was way fun. My friend is looking for a new place to live, and I'm like, can you please, can you please come and move into these apartments so I can have access to that pool again? And she's like, it's too expensive. And I was like, I know, that's why we moved out, because it was more expensive to live there and rent than it was to buy our house and have a mortgage payment. So, okay, let's go home. All right, back at home, I also got him some Pringles the other day when I was at Target. So I've got those little snacks for him, and then we're gonna go outside and put the balloons, but Kaylee's kind of making fun of me because I already tore the sign that I got. So you can show him my rip. I ripped the sign because I wasn't patient, but it's cute. Here, wait, show it to him again. Let's let the adventures begin. Congrats, grad. I'm kind of setting myself up for a lot for you next year. <laughs> yeah, you are. <laughs> so we're gonna. Go visit this free then. I know. You better stay with him. <laughs> just kidding. I'm kidding. So that goes in well. Should we just tie the balloons to it unless it starts to rain? Sure. So she's gonna tie that to the stake of this sign. Maybe tie one more. That's, is that a knot knot or just one? Do, do one more round around. Okay, that works. And then put it in. That's kind of cute. Got the balloons there. And if it starts to rain, we'll take it down. I don't want, or we'll move it up toward the porch. They're like tilting sideways. Look at it. They're like, the sign is over there. <laughs> They're like going sideways. When is he coming over? Okay. Also, looks like I only get two peonies this year. I got one there, one there, but it's a healthy bunch. So hopefully next year I can actually get some more out of it. They don't, they double and triple every single year, but it finally looks really, really healthy. Are you excited to have a few more days of school left? Two and a half, right? You have a good countdown left. Is that any good? That's really old. <laughs> it might even just be water at this point. How was your, how was your day? That is for um, class, um, our, my, the lesson that you have is about Samuel, Hannah, Naomi, and Ruth in the Bible. That's what we're gonna talk about. Yeah, you gotta get your countdown? Yeah. Oh, okay. where'd it go? I put it, that's for money in there. Um, where, did, oh, I put it in the other, in another notebook over here. Okay, it's over in here. Nope, not that one. Right here. Nope. Nope, not that one. <laughs> How many notebooks does mom have? Let's count. <laughs> it's right here. You haven't done veggies too much. Five, six, seven, but eight. Eight right there. Right here. Count off your days. Nine. Huh? Ten, eleven. Are we really counting my notebooks right now? You're being a little twit. Ten, eleven. Come and check off your little school list. Wednesday is only like half day. It's not even a whole day. Let's see how many notebooks. So she's got two and a half. No, we're not counting my notebooks. How well, was your day? like 20 of Stop. Them, so you probably Stop. have 30 notebooks. How was your day? It was good. Did you see the balloons outside? Is it raining yet? It is raining. I'm worried about his balloons out there. Did you see them? Yeah. Ironically, it hasn't rained all day long. I could have gone on my walk so many different times today. <laughs> Um, but it was good to get my the workout in that I got in. I'm trying to flip my camera. I got cleaned up, showered, and then I shaved my face and did a little peeling solution treatment to it. Kind of clean it up. It's feeling really rough these days. Um, probably from the sugar that I've been eating. Are you trying to get your fidget box down? That's only... Oh, what are you getting that down for? You're gonna... Oh, for the candy. You can have a few. 
but I'm gonna straighten my hair tomorrow. So I didn't wanna do the little twisties in it, but I still wanna be able to go out tonight and hang out with our friends. I just kinda slicked it back, so. We're also gonna go to Costco and try and get one of those little back massagers. You know, like the big, it's like one ball. And it, duh, 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 you know, so into your back. Because when I have a cracked back, I can't get down to do what we're supposed to do. Like. Well, because we're too big. <laughs> we don't want to break you. But Dad massaged Abby's back last night. And she's like, oh, Dad, it feels so good. Oh, oh Dad, did, did someone get into Dad's present down here? What are you doing? Is it falling over? Yeah. Okay, bring it. Are they getting weighed down? Okay, then why don't we set it? Are they, they're not, oh, are they really like, Oh, what the heck happened? Let's there. bring it in where it's warm. Let's bring them inside. I bet well, the rain and the wet. Going. Now they're going. Okay, let's bring them in. We'll have to just set it in here. Oh my gosh, they're just... Okay, maybe they'll dry. <laughs> this is so sad. Hi, congratulations, Jacob. Um, with dead balloons. We're going to just put it in there. Well, maybe they'll... <laughs> That's the most pitiful thing. Well, maybe when they dry, I bet the weight of the water, that is the most disappointing, even for a dollar. They were, you saw it. Everyone they saw it. They were literally all up. They were like floating to the ceiling when like we, I was about, at the store. Like it was about to come off. So, oh, well, let's see if they dry. Maybe the rain is like, the water on them is making them weigh down so you can dry them off for me. And, oh wow, that's really disappointing. I'm betting he's gonna be like, oh, they're deflated like the Seahawks. I'm betting you. Without him here, no one's telling him to say that. I guarantee you he's gonna make some crack joke about these balloons Wait. not floating. <gasps> oh, oh, oh. Because it's the wet. Is it's it just wet. the wet? <gasps> Look at the miracle worker. We have one floating. About to be two. They're about to be two, all right. <gasps> Look at you, boo. The balloon queen. Okay, we've got three alive. See if we can get four. Oh, there we go. Look at that. All right, well, we'll keep them inside. They probably didn't like the cold. Yeah, you gotta dry that one. <laughs> you can tell where that one is wet. It's dry on the bottom here, so it's wanting to float, but the top is too heavy. So bring it back down and dry that one off. Now they're floating clear to the ceiling. See, I knew that they would float. That's crazy, so we need to kind of tie it down just a smidge so that they kind of hang right here by the sign. All right, so I put his stuff out here instead. <laughs> Here's a pair of socks that he got all wet when they went to play outside one day and I washed it. So I'm giving that back to him, but that's cute. And then the balloons are just right above it. So that's kind of fun. And this is kind of our grad corner. These are all the friends that we've had that are graduating this year. And it's kind of fun to just kind of display them like I used to with our Christmas cards. So. Oh. You did honk at me? That car sounds so quiet. <laughs> Hi, Jacob. Hi. I have one more surprise for you. Um, what is it? Thank you. <laughs> Why did you get stuff? Because I just wanted to do one more thing. One and socks. Ooh, yeah. Giving <laughs> <laughs> <Socks. laughs> your socks back. Oh. Oh, you watched it. <laughs> I did. But it is funny because we had all of this outside. Mm -hmm. And then, um, that's my phone. That's, that's Ashley. That's not me. It's not me. No, it's your, it's that's your friend, dad. Ashley. Yes, it is. It's not dad. Oh my gosh. The amount of people. I'm ignoring that. Hey, better half is with me. Or at least I like, pretend like it. No, I'm just kidding. I don't know how many times you called me that at Bear Up. Well, I'll run with it. No, I miss having him around. Um, we are going to head to Costco really quick and get that massager thing. Hopefully they still have it. I saw it there the other day, right? You saw it there the other day. Uh, in my mind, I think I saw it. But I don't remember if that was like three months ago or yesterday. Well, and I, no, but I saw it recently because I thought, oh, maybe I should do that for Father's Day. And I was like, you don't have to give me anything. Before. Exactly. That's why I didn't get it. That's exactly why I didn't get it. You guys witnessed it just with that. No, it's fine. He's like, don't I'm not get doing me the whole, no, you don't have to get me anything. I know, he's when not. you secretly have to get me something that women do. No, when guys say you don't have to get me anything, it means we don't have anything in mind. 
Otherwise, it's I'd because say, it's your money being spent. You know, no, you don't want to spend it. Otherwise, I'd be like, oh, there is this movie I could get. Yeah, there's or, no more movies to get. Yeah, I've been movies for two years. Yeah, three. <laughs> we're coming up on almost three years yeah, of no movies. Yeah. Regardless, I he wants to get it for Abby. I mean, I think it would feel great on my lower back. I oh, want to feel good for all of us. My back's kind of hurt too, but. Uh, It'll be beneficial, but I really want to make sure we use it correctly for Abby. Yeah, we, yeah. And trying to alleviate some her back pain. That's where I thought of it. Yeah. So, and then we're going to head to that little graduation thing and, um, and kind of go for it. All right. We found it. It's 80 bucks. It's actually cheaper than we thought it was. I thought it was going to be like 120 And it comes with a little box to put it in, which is kind of cool. And then there's like all the different, like, you want to show it? There's like different tools and whatnot. So... I think that'll be good. All right, we also decided to get some of these little um, blueberry covered chocolates, or chocolate covered blueberries. Where did he go? Where did Jason go? What did you, where did you I go? Back because yeah, I you did. Change, so so we need one for the road and he won't give up his one for now. I knew you wouldn't be able to resist. <laughs> I also grabbed a bag of chips because I still have some of that pickle dip that is really good. And then we also got a bag of candy and I know that's really overkill but it's really overkill i'll explain so with both of our road trips this summer once for my sister's wedding and then back again for a regular vacation car snacks and snacks when we're there come in handy and are kind of required i bet that's abby asking me for a certain snack i'm trying to get my buckle when we end up going to like the dollar store or even target i end up spending 20 bucks on individual little teeny tiny bags of candy for each one of them and, and so I told them I was like I will get you a can of Pringles and we can always stop for a drink along the way and lunches and stuff but I'm gonna get this large bag there's Skittles and Airheads and Jolly Ranchers like 20 different kinds of candy in it all and the chief rot a kid could want yeah but then I can I can give it give them some for right now for the first trip just for the road trip so they don't overeat and pack some more away for while we're there and then have some to come home with and then hang on to it and not let them have it again until our next road trip and um not just nibble on it um so it's like an extra so i just it was 15 bucks and maybe it'll last us the rest of the summer as well if they want like a movie night snack or whatever or the teenagers coming over more and more often they're already all at our house right now so now off to a little grad party i hope they have a little bit of food <laughs> maybe like a couple little nibbles if i know the friends that are doing it they'll have something um and then maybe we go and grab a little snack bite to eat i don't want a snack i want an actual like something to eat afterward yep ashley wants oh i can't get blueberries they didn't have them they didn't have blueberries. They had the organic blueberries last time we were here at Costco. Um, and they're like twice as much as the regular ones. So, no bueno for me. Friday night, yeah, I'm going out to forget how he did me wrong. Triple crowns packed, but I'm alright. Gonna let myself let go. Okay, we're back home. You can have that little chocolate ball or whatever. It's probably Oreos. We're back at home. And we're gonna try out this little. It's in here. You have it over there. It's a little back massager. Yeah. See if you it feels have good. To charge it. Uh, Do you turn it up or something? Yep. Uh, 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 oh my god. Was Do it. Do my lower back. I need to like lay. Uh. <laughs> lay down. I want to lay down, but then lay down. Then lay down. <laughs> yeah. Because you just. Oh. Like gets to the parts that hurt the most. You don't have Lower. to push. You just kind of like leave it there. You don't have to like press hard or anything. Just go All ahead. Right, so dad is upstairs doing Abby's back, but we're going to divide out our candies so that we know what ones we have. And if someone just wants Airheads, I can toss them some Airheads. We've got Skittles, we've got Twizzlers, and gold not goldfish, uh, Swedish fish. So. We're just kind of dumping out different portions of this. And then I'm gonna put most of it away for now and save the rest for our road trip, right? Yeah. Well, road trip number one, okay? I don't wanna stay here, no. Ain't 
gonna keep it low now If you wanna go, let's go Let's wrap it up and hit the road I just got an awesome vibe Striking the wind of hopes now Alright, here's the divide. We've got two bags of the Twizzlers. Oh, three bags of the Twizzlers. Two Swedish fish. Um, Dad will like both of these ones. Um, everyone will like the airheads. So there's plenty of airheads. And then Starburst has one bag. I was kind of shocked that there wasn't more Skittles in there than that one. And then there's only a few sour ones. And then look, literally three. I literally bought the whole pack. I know, because I bought the pack because I thought it showed. The problem was it was deceiving because I saw yellow and I saw that there were sour patches, but this one was where it was deceiving. So, yeah, it says that there's, yeah, seven sour patch. And I literally got three bags of them. This is like their favorite. Yeah. Is sour stuff. There's only two things of sour candies right there. And then we've got the Haribo, Haribo uh, Gold Bears. And then you like these ones, but not the flavor that you like. Uh, but these are still good. I like blue raspberry the most. And this one's a cherry watermelon. That's okay. You can have the blue raspberry. So I think I will take two or three kinds and put it into like a car bag. Yeah, I think a Twizzlers. I think a Twizzlers. Yeah, I think that's a good choice. Yeah. Is that good enough for the first trip? Yeah, because there's not very many in there. Yeah. So we'll take these ones in a car bag, car snacks. And then we have our own snacks. No. <laughs> well, like one, like, like Pringles. And like, oh, yeah, yeah, then you get like a Pringle or a Salty. Yeah. And we'll just get drinks along the way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's easier to do than trying to keep your, your soda can cold in the car. Because Abby doesn't get to sit in the front. Abby doesn't get to sit in the front. What? Because no. I, I am. No, like the middle. Oh. My kids are already arguing about who gets to sit in the middle seat. Um, Kaylee is not going on this trip with us um, for different reasons, and that's fine. Grandpa's going to check on her and be with her while we are gone. So it leaves an extra seat open, and <laughs> these guys are annoyed that Abby will have her own seat no, to Chelsea herself. Chelsea already said that she... Yeah, but I don't know that Abby's going to share the seat with you the whole time. Some she of the time you can. Wanna, you're kind of a... You're, you're, you're not a hog on, in the car. You're just hog in the bed. You, you know you're a hog in the bed. I know it's two different places. Yeah. Alright, I'm going to sign off with you guys. i got to hide this candy. This cannot be accessible with anyone in this house. So give me that bag right there and we'll put it away until next week. And I actually need to start packing next week. So stay tuned for a packing video. I'm gonna pack a little bit different this time. It's a quick trip. I think I'm gonna throw pouch bags all into one bag, one or two big bags. I think it'll be easier to do it that way. I really don't wanna take our car rack with us. So we're gonna pack light and pack quick. So stay tuned to the packing video and we're gonna get ready to hop on the road. the magic places in the world I've been to this is where my heart is oh you know it's true no matter where I go I'm coming home to you